It's a KVD Sexy Dog. 610 medium power fast action. It's what, 14 pound vinyl film. It's a high gear Corrado K. 7.4, I like a high gear so I can get the bait back to me quicker. Yeah, um, monofilament or braid is my choice of line for top water baits. I don't really like fluorocarbon, but what we're gonna do is, it's windy today, you got a north wind. I don't think this is gonna work, but we can try. See, when you walk the dog, you want that bait going side to side. Now, you can vary your retrieve. You don't always have to walk it super fast. You can, you can see that, go slower. I'm sure you guys can't see that, but that's how I like to do it, is slow or fast. That's uh, my favorite topwater bait, especially in late summer and fall. I know a lot of people like it in early fall. I like it all times in the fall for largemouth and smallmouth. So I'll just kind of cast it out there. And you see how I got, you see how my hand is holding the reel? Well, the position of your hand is gonna help in, it's gonna help you with walking the dog, excuse me, okay? So when, when you hear walk the dog, if your bait is just bouncing straight or coming at you, that's wrong. How do I know that's wrong? From experience. I have a lot of practice with this bait and grinding my gear when I grab the, the reel handle too fast but anyway see that I'm using my wrist and the rod tip to create that action see that now in all seriousness when you do that like it, it, it if, if it's hurting your wrist a little bit I like to say that's good you're probably like well what do you mean well, that's how you know you're getting practice with that action and getting better with it. Just kind of make a cast out there. It's, uh, like I said, it's a Corrado K, it's a high gear. I'm gonna go over the brake settings in a minute for this, but you see how, it's, see how that bait's walking? Now, if you look out there, you can see it's windy. It's an overcast day. I don't think I'm gonna catch anything out here, but I did come out here just to do this demonstration. Like I said, it is a KVD sexy dog. So let's talk about the rod and the reel. Well, and the bait. If this is the bigger sexy dog, you have the sexy dog and the sexy dog junior. And if the junior is what, a half an ounce, this is a seven eighths, if I do remember correctly. Um, but back, back to the line choice in the high gear. I only ever do monofilament or braid with the topwater. I don't do braid a whole lot unless I'm fishing a frog. Now, I really do like to fish a spook, a pop, our light topwater baits with monofilament, and look at how that water just cleared up. Why don't I have a jig or a Texas rig? Anyway, so I like monofilament just because I do. I mean, if you had braid, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be having to do this to get that fast, that fast action in the bait. Okay, because braid has what? No stretch. So you would just have to go like this and it would work with braid. But I actually do like working the bait with monofilament. Let's put it on the keeper and talk about it for a second. Like I said, with that high gear Corrado, let's open your escape hatch. When the plate does not come off, it's an escape hatch. When the plate comes off, it's a removable side plate. I can't believe I had to hesitate on that one. Uh, it's two brakes on, two brakes off. And then it is SVS Infinity, so you do have the outside dial. I just have the dial on four. I can probably turn it lower. But what I like to do, like, like I, I'll make short, accurate casts, and, and I'll cast to the target or the structure or the cover, whether that be a spook, a pop bar, or a frog. But when I'm fishing like, like open water, which I don't really want to call this exactly completely open water because it might look like it to you, but there's tall weeds and a whole bunch of stuff in this water. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is when I am fishing open water or shallow water where I know the bait fish are busting or I can see activity and I think that a top water walking bait like a spook or a sexy dog is going to work or trigger a bite, I like to make a long cast. See that? That actually went really far. Yeah, that's way out there. I actually take my glasses off a second. I'm still wearing the coasters. I can actually, let, let's let my eyes adjust. I can see where it went. 
but it's out there quite a ways. What's that noise? That's my rod. And it's the thumb bar. I heard a noise and I was like, what is that? It was the thumb bar and the rod. There we go. And I've had people ask me, is that that back play in your Shimano reel, is that normal? Absolutely. That back play. I want to hear that back play. <laughs> Did I really just do that? Anyway. So yeah. The sexy dog, the spook, the spook junior. Spook junior used to be it was my favorite, well, it is my favorite topwater walking bait, but this sexy dog in the full size, this is slowly taking its place because not only of the, the number of bass that I've seen it catch, but the quality amount of smallmouth bass and largemouth bass that other people have caught with this bait in my videos. So again, make our, that was a really long cast. And all we're going to do is just walk it all the way back. And you should be able to hear it. I'm sorry if I didn't mention this earlier. You should be able to hear it. Now, if a fish strikes and misses it, which I, I don't, I see that, but not as often as you would think. It, I, I'll vary my vary the retrieve. Excuse me. See that? See how it's going slower? See that? You see what I'm doing? The way you hold it with your wrist will help you. That's why I talked about that at the beginning. And then you want to speed it up. Wrist and the rod tip. Remember how I talked about it coming straight, coming at you like that, how it being wrong? Exactly. So here. There we go. See what I mean about that retrieve? That's all I'm doing. Now, when I want a steady retrieve, I want that bait to constantly be walking, especially in the fall when the bait fish are busting, or I'm on, I know I'm on a school. I'm going to work that like that, like I keep telling you. All that is, is I take my hand, I grab the reel, and it's like that, but faster. And when I want to slow down the retrieve, when I'm doing a slower walk, now you can do it like a jerk bait, but I like to walk it like that. Give you guys a better, more of a wide angle view. That's the fast retrieve. And then when I slow it down, just to show you again, that is the slower retrieve. And I'm reeling as I go. And if I get a bite, if I watch the fish eat it and I know he has the hooks, I'll set the hook right away. Now, if I'm not sure or it's, it's kind, of a, kind of a weird bite, almost like how they suck it in with a frog, I'll wait until I feel the weight and then set the hook. Let's get a long cast. With a low trajectory to the water on top of it. See, that's the thing is, is I don't always bomb it way up in the air is I like to keep it low to the water, but maintain the same casting distance. And look, we got some rain coming in. See another thing sometimes when, when I was telling you guys about those short casts that I make sometimes I won't even try to cast it far I'll just just kind of toss it that was a bad cast but you can see I mean it went far now one thing that I recommend you don't do is what I just did and that is when the baits right there you didn't like the cast and you reel the bait in now, I understand we're all going to do it by force of habit. We're all human. But normally, what I would recommend, one-handed cast, is work the bait all the way back to the boat or the bank. Yes, I've fished topwater walking baits on the boat and bank and caught fish on both the boat and bank. Say that 10 times. 